business banking sector's credit to private sector rose to 25.47 trillion naira in September, setting a new record high for the year, a new report by the Central Bank of Nigeria has revealed. Analysts have said that 65% loan to deposit policy of the CBN has continued to increase banks' credit to the private sector. In a bid to drive lending to the real sectors, the CBN has directed all banks to maintain a minimum of 65% LDR by the end of December 2019. The money and credit statistics by the CBN specifically showed that banking sector's credit to private sector rose by 2.61% to 25.47 trillion naira in September from 24.82 trillion naira in August. The statistics also reveal that the banking sector's credit to the private sector was 22.9 trillion naira in January. It increased to 24.2 trillion naira in February. The figure dropped marginally to 23.99 trillion naira in March and increased by 3.72% to 24.88 trillion naira in April. According to the CBN, the credits remained flat at 24.88 trillion naira in May and dropped by 24.76 trillion naira and 24.29 trillion naira in June and July, respectively. The head of research, Pan African Capital Holding Limited, Moses Ojo attributed the growth to the 65% LDR policy by the CBN, stressing that the credited private sector would grow significantly before the end of 2019. And in the oil sector, after strong gains last week, oil prices were slightly lower on Monday as data released in China reinforced signs that its economy is slowing. Although the progress, there is progress in China-U.S. trade talks has supported prices. Brent crude was down 12 cents at $61.90 a barrel, having gained more than 4% last week, its best weekly gain since September 20, while West Texas Intermediate crude futures were down by 16 cents at $56.50 a barrel after rising more than 5% last week, also, bigger, also the biggest weekly increase is September 20. Meanwhile, profits at China industrial companies fell for the second straight month in September as producers' prices continued to slide while highlighting the toll that a slowing economy and protracted U.S. trade war are having an corporate balance sheet.